We waited over two years for Volkswagen Canada to bring their high-performance Golf R, and then we had to come all the way to the Arctic Circle in Sweden to try it out. Let's see if the two-year wait was worth it. Getting a Volkswagen's European cold climate test track is an adventure in itself. From Stockholm, it's a two-hour flight, then a two-hour drive. You end up in the small town of Arsplog, which nearly triples its population of 1,500 in the winter, with car company engineers testing prototypes and production cars. A few kilometers outside of Arsplog, Volkswagen has created five tracks on a frozen lake, covering over seven kilometers. We spent the day exploring the Golf R's newfound power and all-wheel drive system, a setup familiar with what's already under Audi's TTS Coupe. Under the guidance of Volkswagen's top-notch driving instructors, we journalists got to basically act like hooligans for the day, all under the guise of finding how much the new Golf R acts in these types of driving conditions most Canadians face about one-third of the year. Well, what did I find out? While when entering a corner on ice, the all-wheel drive R acts a lot like a front-wheel drive GTI. You lift off the throttle to get its nose to tuck in, and its rear end starts to slide out, allowing you to line up for the corner's apex. Then, squeeze the throttle gently, which sends the majority of the torque to the Volkswagen's rear wheels, and the Golf R powers out like a rear-wheel drive car. Done properly, you can four-wheel drift the all-wheel drive Golf until the reindeer come home. The best part of our day driving the Golf R in Sweden? Unlike when you spin off the road on your way into the office, there was a Volkswagen employee and his Touareg ready and willing to pull any of us out that became too familiar with a snowbank. Straighten the wheels would help. <laughs> After spending a day on what admittedly a lot of Canadians drive on for four or five months of the year, I have to say the Golf R lives up to most of its expectations. Maybe the biggest benefit is its price compared to its rivals at Mitsubishi and Subaru. For the Toronto Star and Wheelstot.ca, I'm John LeBlanc.